Hi everyone and welcome. Today we are going to be talking about Bearbox. This project derived from U-Boot and it was originally named U-Boot version 2. The aim of Bearbox is combining the U-Boot and Linux technologies. Building Bearbox. First of all, you want to clone the repository, then you jump into the Bearbox directory, then you switch to the branch that you want to use. On Linux, you might get the list of available branches by pressing Tab after the git checkout command. The directory on the screen contains all available configurations. Choose the one that matches your platform, but make sure you read the readme first. And this is something that I always recommend to do, setting the path, the cross-compile and the arc variables. Obviously, those values might be different on your system. As you might need to build the MLO first, which is also called Xloader, used when the SRAM is too small to contain the entire code needed to load the kernel, you will use two commands similar to the following ones, which generate the secondary program loader. Now you're gonna have to pass the configuration file for the first line of code. You might not need the second line of code. You're just gonna be using the menu config if you wanna do some fine tuning. And you will definitely need the third line of code. Make sure that the configuration file that you're using is the correct one for your platform. Now we can build the actual bootloader. These steps are going to be similar to the previous one. So again, you need to choose the right configuration file. Again, you might not need the second step. You're just going to need the second step if you want to do some fine tuning and you're definitely going to need the third step. Installing Bearbox. To make the Bearbox files accessible to the board, Choose any support such as SD cards, USB mass storage or serial interfaces to store the code which is going to be read by the ROM. Create two partitions like the following ones. Next, copy MLO and bearbox.bin to boot. Booting with Bearbox. After having reset the board, you will get a prompt similar to the Linux one. Many well-known commands such as ls, cp, rm and mount will work. If you choose the SD card, you can mount the first partition of the card using the following command line or something similar. The command to start booting is boot ham, which can handle Bearbox images, ARM Linux Z images and U-boot U images. So you can either use boot ham passing the full path of the image as an argument or you can use a variable the global.bootm.image variable and then 
you can type putem without any argument. To boot passing an alternative device tree, the command line is the following. So you can either use the minus O option or you can use the off tree variable as in here. Also here we are using the image variable to specify the image. So that the third line doesn't have any argument. Passing arguments to the kernel can also be done. So this command line is going to boot from the root partition. Therefore, a complete sequence of commands to boot might be the following. So the first line is going to specify the device tree. The second one is going to pass arguments to the kernel while the third one is going to boot a specific image. Now, the third one could also be done like this, so that we are still using variable, and then boot M to boot. You can pick and choose wherever you prefer. Bare box versus you boot. U-Boot is being used by a larger number of installations, therefore is very well maintained. U-Boot is well known for its high level of configurability and flexibility. U-Boot requires deep board knowledge. U-Boot command line forces users into working with memory addresses rather than file names. U-Boot is harder to configure as many files have to be edited in order to change a configuration. In Bearbox, environment variables and scripts cannot be mixed up. And I hope you've enjoyed my class. Thank you very much.